Welcome to integration of my points practice problems. These are practice problems with solution from simple to challenging. Integration of my points is a technique for finding antiderivatives where the derivatives involved involve part of the product rule for differentiation. The presentation my integration by ports is covered in my other video, and here's the link. Now feel free to refer to it at any time. If we're a few words about this video in order, you will find 10 problems. After each problem will be a detailed solution. I strongly feel that students need to identify where they are practicing correctly, and also where they are practicing incorrectly. Practice of erroneous technique reinforces the errors. It is also important to try the problem before looking at the solution. Seeing the solution can lead to a false belief that the problem has been understood. So try the problem before looking at the solution. I have the solutions so that only one will be at the top. Now what I'm going to do is go read over the problem. And during that time, uh, and the answer will be coming next, is a good time for you to pause and work the problem. And uh, you don't want to see the solution before getting there. So, Number one, find the integral of x e to the x dx. You look at that and you say, I really don't see how to do that. So we're going to do it by points. What we have here is two functions, u and v. And the derivative of u, v is one function times the derivative of the yellow. That's the second function times the derivative of the first. Um, what we're finding is one function times the derivative of the other. Uh, so what I have is I'm going to let u be x, and I'm going to start here with dv is e to the x dx. So the differential of u is dx, uh, and v is Thinking back like I'm integrating this is e to the x. So the integral of u dv is uv, uh, the integral of the product, uh, the derivative of the product is simply the product. And, and so that would be x e to the x. And the other half, v d, uh, u is going to come from here, minus, because it's on the same side as the product, the integral of v e to the x dx. I can integrate e to the x, so I got x e to the x minus e to the x plus c. Okay, so that one isn't too difficult. And a lot of times the u becoming uh, dx, it, it makes things easier. E to the x makes things easy. Now we're going to find the integral of x cosine x dx. Here we're going to let u be x and dv be cosine x dx. So du is the derivative of x dx and so that's just dx and v is going backwards from cosine i get back to sine so uh since the derivative of sine is the cosine going backwards i get the sine you have to be careful with sines and cosines whether you're dealing with positives or negatives so what i end up with is my original integral is uv x sine x minus, from the formula, the integral of sine x, which is v, 
du dx. Well, I can integrate the sine. And the integral of the sine is the negative of the cosine. So I get x sine x plus two negatives, make them positive, cosine x plus c. Now we're going to pull a negative sign up here, see what that does. The integral of x e to negative x dx. So I'm going to let u again be x. It won't always be. du is dx. dv is e to the negative x dx. So v, the integral of that would be negative e to the negative x. So my original integral equals ub uh, x times negative e to the negative x. So that's minus x e to the negative x minus the integral of v uh, du. And so that would be a negative e to the negative x uh, du is dx. So I get negative x e to negative x. And here I get 1, 2. I want to integrate e to negative x. I bring down a third negative sign, 3. So I get negative e to negative x plus c. So you got to keep track of the signs. Well, here we have x times hyperbolic sine of x, the integral of x hyperbolic sine of x dx. If you're not familiar with it, the derivative of the hyperbolic sine is the hyperbolic cosine. And the derivative of the hyperbolic cosine is the hyperbolic sine. So these are actually easier to handle than sine and cosine because you do not have to worry about positive and negative. So I'm gonna let u be x du is dx, dv is the hyperbolic sine of x, so v is the hyperbolic cosine of x, so I get the integral of x hyperbolic sine of x, dx equals x hyperbolic cosine of x uv minus the integral of v hyperbolic cosine of x dx, which is x hyperbolic cosine of x minus, and the integral of the hyperbolic cosine is hyperbolic sine of x plus c. Okay, here's another one. This one, we're going to find the integral of x times the natural log of x dx. In this case, I find it easy to let u be the log of x. du is 1 over x dx. dv is the x, and v is x squared over 2. So we don't normally go up in power, but in this case, it works just fine. The, the integral of x, the natural log of x, equals uv, uh, so it's x squared over 2 uh, times log of x minus the integral of x squared over 2 times 1 over x dx, which is x over 2. So I get x squared over 2 log of x minus, and the integral of x is x squared over 2, and I already have a 2, so it's x squared over 4 plus c. Now we're going to find the integral of 4 to the x, the hyperbolic cosine of x. A little side here is that the derivative of 4 to the x is the natural log of 4 times 4 to the x. So the integral of 4 to the x is uh, 4 to the x over the natural log of 4 uh, times 4 to the x. So we're going to find the integral of 4 to the x, a hyperbolic sine of x. 
we're going to let u be 4 to the x. And we're going to let dv be the hyperbolic sine of x. So the derivative of u, or a differential of u, is the derivative of u times dx, which is the natural log of 4 times 4 to the x. Uh, if dv is the hyperbolic sine, um, v would be its antiderivative or the hyperbolic cosine of x. So now we have our initial integral equal hyperbolic cosine v, and here's u four to the x minus the integral of the hyperbolic v, hyperbolic cosine of x times du, the natural log of x times 4 to the x. Well, if I can't integrate 4 to the x hyperbolic sine, I probably can't integrate 4 to the x hyperbolic cosine. But don't worry about that. It, it will work out. So what I have is the uh, original integral that I have to find, but I have an intermediate point, and that's finding this integral. So I'm going to just on a side find this integral. So I'll just factor out the natural log of 4, since it's a constant, and I get integral 4, hyperbolic cosine of x. So I'm going to have another u, which I'll call u prime, just to distinguish it. It doesn't matter what you name these things. Uh, also being 4 to the x, another du, uh, which is the natural log of 4 times 4 to the x dx. And now my dv is the hyperbolic cosine of x dx. And so my v is the hyperbolic sine. So my original integral up here is going to be, I did get the uv term. Uh, out so far, which is hyperbolic cosine times 4 to the x minus the log of 4 times the 4 to the x hyperbolic sine of x. This is going to be another the uv from uh, a new integral, which comes from, there's a negative sign here, so we have to have that, and the log of 4 is from here, and from this integral we get 4 to the x hyperbolic sine x, and then we get minus the integral and this is going to be v du. So we have one minus sign here, and we're getting another, so it's plus the natural log of the integral 4 to the x hyperbolic sine of x. Now, if I look at this right here and this right here, I see the same integral except for a multiplier. So I collect these on one side, 1 minus the log of 4, that's a constant integral that I want equals, and I get the hyperbolic cosine of x sums 4x minus the log 4, 4 to the x hyperbolic sine of x. So now all I have to do is divide by 1 minus the log of x and put my constant of integration, and I have my solution. So here we had to go through integration by part twice and recognize that we ended up with the same integral that we started with, um, excluding mentioning the multiplier, which is incidental. And so we ended up being able to collect terms and solve. 
Now we're going to be looking for the integral of x seven to the x dx. So here we're taking the integral of x sine x dx. Since uh, the derivative of seven to, I'm sorry, x seven to the x. Uh, since the derivative of seven to the x is ln seven times seven to the x, if we go backwards, we have to divide by the, the log of seven. So the, what we're gonna have is u is x, du is dx, uh, v uh, is gonna come from here. It's gonna be one over log seven, some seven to the x and dv is seven to the x. So we're gonna have uv uh, x one over seven uh, log seven times seven to the x minus, and we're gonna have v which we can fact out the constant one over ln seven uh, times the integral of seven to the x. The integral of seven to the x is one over ln seven, so we get one over ln seven squared uh, seven to the x. So our integral is one over ln seven x seven to the x minus seven to the x over the log of seven squared uh, plus c. Now we're gonna find the integral of x squared sine x. Here we're to find the integral of x squared sine x dx. We're gonna let u be x squared. So du is two x dx. DV is sine x, so V is negative cosine x. So we get negative from this term, cosine x and an x squared minus V negative cosine x du 2x dx. And we take the two negative signs and we end up with two times the integral of x cosine x dx. Well, then we have to take this and integrate it, which we're going to let u be x, du dx. We're going to let v dv be cosine x. So that makes v the sin x. So we have negative x squared plus cosine x plus 2 uv x sin x minus the 2, the integral of sin x dx. And so that gives us x negative x squared cosine x plus 2x sine x. And the integral of the sine is negative the cosine. So that gives us plus 2 cosine x. So now we're going to find the integral of x squared e to the x dx. U will be x squared. The u will be 2x dx. V will be e to the x. And dv will be e to the x dx. So the integral of x squared e to the x dx equals uv, uh, which is x squared e to the x minus the integral of 2x e to the x dx. Uh, now we're going to have to integrate the negative 2x e to the x. So we're going to get a new u x, a new du dx. Uh, 
It turns out that dv is e to the x and v is e to the x in this case. So we're going to get x squared e to the x minus 2 times the integral of x e to the x dx, which is going to be uh, x squared e to the x minus 2 uv x e to the x. And another minus sign integral e to the x dx. So this is x squared e to the x minus 2 e to the uh, 2 x e to the x plus 2 e to the x plus c. And finally, number 10, we're going to find the integral of e to the 2 x cosine x dx. So we're going to let u be e to the 2 x du equals 2 e to the 2 x. Uh, v dv is cosine x, and so v is sine x. Uh, so we're going to have uv e to the 2x sine x minus uh, the 2s going to come from here to uh, and we're going to have uh, u v e to the two x sine x. So we're going to have to go through it again. Uh, u prime is e to the two x du is two e to the two x dx. Uh, dv uh, is sine x in this case, and v is negative cosine x. So what we're going to end up with is this. Original integral equal e to the 2x sine x. Now we got the negative 2 times this integral and so we're going to have u v e to the 2x cosine x and here's a negative sign so that makes this positive plus and then we're going to have we're picking up another 2 uh, so we're going to have the integral of 2 to the x cosine x is 4 and this is going to be similar to what we did before uh, we have the same integral on both sides uh, and when we subtract 4 times an integral we get a negative 3 and so we get a negative one-third multiplier and then we get uh, these terms e to the 2x sine x plus 2 e to the 2x cosine x uh, plus c. Well, thank you for going through this. And I hope that you would hit the subscribe button at the bottom. And uh, I also have another practice set on integration by substitution. And I think there will be more coming. So uh, thank you for uh, watching.